What's good, YouTube? Hey, we are back, man, for another reaction video, man. It's your boy, Big Doggy, man. We back, like I said. Hopefully, y'all been enjoying the videos, man. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, today we're going to come at y'all with a little WWE news, man. I heard it has been a few uh, ridiculous WWE firings. So we're going to see who it is, see what they talking about. We're going to react to WrestleMania. That's the channel we on. Um, but, yeah, if y'all WWE fans, comment down below when y'all see who it is. Let me know what y'all think about the releases, where you think the wrestlers that are going, or that release are going. Uh, yeah, but uh, other than that, man, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And if you're not, subscribe to the channel. You know, you want to let me know why? You want to comment that down below? You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. And I'm going to give you a little give you a little time. Go ahead. Go ahead and hit the button if you ain't subscribed, man. Turn on post notifications. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to do my thing real quick. Hey, good. You hit the button? All right. That's what I'm talking about. Appreciate you. Let's go, go on. Let's go on this uh, YouTube journey together, man. You ready? Let's get into it now. What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Oh my gosh, the WWE has made huge releases just now. AEW's also made some releases, Fast and Furious 9 tanks in China thanks to John Cena, is the WWE teasing Brock Lesnar's return and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now let's do the intro and get into the first major story. Let's do it. Yeah, the first story is WWE making major firings. Right, right. And you won't believe who just got fired. Yeah, it looks like Fightful Select's rumors of the WWE making more cuts proved true. Earlier today, the site reported that the WWE is planning more cost-cutting, possibly as early as this week. Now the WWE has announced the releases and they include a number of huge names. Braun Strowman, yeah, Braun freaking Strowman, Alistair Black, Ruby Riot, Lana, Santana Garrett, and Buddy Murphy. The W. WWE events, man, what are you doing, dude? Like, seriously, I don't understand what's going on here. But it's like you just want WWE to perish. Like, you're getting rid of all the people that. From what I see on the outside looking in, because I don't watch it like I used to. I really, when I watch it, I'm watching pay-per-view, like the major ones. But you're getting rid of all the people that people love to see. Like, you got rid of Braun Strowman just now. You got rid of Samoa Joe for some reason. And he was supposed to get back in. You got rid of Aleister Black. Aleister Black just came back. What was the point of bringing him back if you was going to release him? You should have just went on ahead and released him. That was stupid, bro. You're ruining your company. Like, what is going on, man? And they're going to all go to AEW. That's what I think. All of them going to go to AEW and become stars again. <laughs> WWE has already released a number of wrestlers and personnel, but some of these names are huge shockers. WrestleVotes tweeted about the releases, summing things up as, The releases of Braun Strowman and Alistair Black surprised me. Well liked. What was the point of that, man? And if I'm not mistaken, bro, for real, for real, Braun Strowman was really the only big man that you had solidified that was really worth something, man. Like... All the other ones are gone. Retired. So what was the point of that, man? What was, please, tell me. For a number of reasons, considering both were well-liked, and as of recently, considered for big roles upon live crowd returns. Hell, Strowman wrestled a McMahon at Mania not three months ago. Weird. Yeah, weird is an understatement. Grammarly helps make your writing clear and concise. No matter where you are. Statement. As WrestleVotes noted, Strowman had been a feature player. As for Alistair Black, the Dutch destroyer was promoted in a series of vignettes, including a high profile return when he attacked Biggie. It looks like Black was being positioned for a major program with Biggie, but both men's absence last week on SmackDown may have been a sign of Alistair's pending release. The reaction of Twitter with many fans was obviously very negative. 
as it can't seem to understand why WWE would push so many wrestlers and then just have them fired. Right now, Sean Ross Sapp hit it hard as he said, SmackDown has seven active women's competitors. Just seven. Just, Alistair Black was the first to comment, saying, You have seven women wrestlers. What is that? That's going to get so boring for your fans, man. And you don't have Charlotte, because if I'm not mistaken, she's hurt. And then Becky Lynch, she's with, like, she just had a kid, man. Because she ain't coming back no time soon. Ronda Rousey is pregnant now. So, what was the, I don't understand. Y'all you make no sense. Or it's really aggravating me. What was the point of that? I don't understand it. I'm gathering my thoughts as this was a complete left field for me as obviously we just started the Dark Father character, but this was it. Thank you so much WWE Universe for allowing me to create and give you small bits of my Don't worry, Alistair. Don't worry, Alistair. You was my dog. You go to AEW, I'm watching AEW just so I can see my boy Alistair. Man. Everybody going to AEW. I can't wait, but Myself. Renee Young tweeted, what a horrible mismanagement of some really talented people. Yeah, certainly does. Now we've noted in past videos, it's possible the WWE is trimming its budget in order to maximize its worth so it can be put up for sale. At this point, this is speculation, but the WWE's continued cuts have more fans and pundits looking at sale as a serious possibility. We'll let you know of any further updates later on. Next up, Vince McMahon was mad about Raw. It looks like Vince McMahon has found another reason to get upset with Raw, well, besides the show's pitiful performance in the ratings, this time a segment that ran way over its scheduled time. Running a live show means wrestlers have to stay on schedule as it could affect other portions of the show. Regrettably, there were some problems on the 31st May Raw with PW Insider reporting, the first segments of last night's edition of Monday Night Raw, Miz TV leading into the Beat the Clock bouts went about 8-10 to 10 minutes longer than planned. PWInsider.com has led, requiring time to be cut from other segments. Raw has been extraordinarily bad, so much so that we recently covered the topic in a video, so you better check that one out if you can, that Vince is probably looking for any reason to get upset as long as it doesn't relate to the show's bad booking. Reading about McMahon's alleged meltdown makes us wonder how much time The Miz and company had to prepare for their segment in light of Vince McMahon constantly rewriting the script for Raw. Next up, WWE teases the return of Brock Lesnar. Our fans have been asked- Damn, that's not the problem. You don't have to bring back all these old wrestlers, bro. It's tiring seeing Brock Lesnar all the time, bro. Don't nobody care no more. Oh my God, just like Undertaker. Undertaker should have been able to retire after the Brock match at WrestleMania. What was the point of keep bringing him back? It was stupid. Let the man retire in peace, man. He Asking the question of whether Brock Lesnar is returning to the WWE may have got a clue on the 31st May episode of Raw, as the Beast was name dropped during the show. Ringside News' Felix Upton noted how Kofi Kingston and Drew McIntyre both talked about Brock Lesnar. McIntyre mentioned how he beat Lesnar, but Kofi famously did not. Then Bobby Lashley asked, why are they talking about someone who doesn't even work here? Brian Alvarez discussed the possibilities during an episode of Wrestling Observer Live, saying, When I heard that I thought that they are building toward Lashley vs Lesnar, that is a match that they have not done. It is a match that people have been asking for a long time, and maybe that's their plan for SummerSlam. Maybe that's their plan for WrestleMania, etc. Now, Lesnar could make a return at Hell in a Cell, attacking Lashley and or McIntyre at the event, setting the stage for a lead into SummerSlam. Could the WWE's latest releases be partially related to Lesnar returning? After all, the wrestlers' releases will free up considerable cash, and as fans know, Lesnar commands considerable cash when he steps back into the ring. Now you guys know that we've reported numerous times on Bobby Lashley's wish to wrestle Lashley, as well as how the return of life fans could motivate both the WWE and Lesnar to work out a return to the ring. Would you guys like to see Lesnar return to WWE, and if so, who should he face? Next up, AEW's Friday Night Fail. Now, bad news for AEW Dynamite in the ratings. You may recall how the NBA playoff forced AEW Dynamite to move from its regular 8pm time slot on Wednesdays to Friday night at 10pm. Dynamite's temporary move to Friday proved a flop in the ratings as AEW's flagship program scored the lowest rating in the show's history. With Wrestling News' Andrew Ravens reporting on the ratings, Dynamite drew 526,000 viewers, which is down from the 821,000 viewers the show previously drew last week. In the 18-49 demo, the show did a 0.20, which is down from 0.28. Now, although Dynamite aired the same night as SmackDown, the shows did not compete head-to-head, -head, so if someone says SmackDown beat it in the ratings, they're ill-advised on which shows ran when. 
The good news is that AEW shows will be moving to TBS in 2022 and is expected that preemptions won't be a problem. While the ratings were expected to drop due to the move, it's a bad sign when you consider AEW Rampage will air on Friday nights at 10pm. Next up, AEW wrestlers released over backstage heat. All Elite Wrestling has released two wrestlers and one of them may have been released due to backstage heat. Wrestling News is reporting that AEW has decided not to renew the contracts for female wrestlers Awesome Kong aka Kia Stevens and Shanna aka Alexandra Baroulas. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. AEW's decision not to renew Shanna's contract may have been due to backstage heat that she had. Fightful Select reports there were some issues with her and some of the other wrestlers, namely extras and how they felt treated by her. Awesome Kong's contract was apparently not renewed renewed for a different reason with Fightful noting. It was added that AEW not renewing Kong Steel was expected as she hadn't been in a coach role that was originally discussed for her as well. It's too bad that 43 year old Olsen Kong was unable to serve as a coach as her experience could have made her a good asset for AEW's women's division. However, it's also good to see AEW trimming the roster as needed as it doesn't want to fall into WCW's pattern of having a huge roster but only using a small portion of it. And finally seen a similar crash smart. in China. And last but not least, it looks like Fast 9, the latest installment in the Fast and Furious franchise, has crashed and burned in China. Recall Cena apologized to the People's Republic of China after he referred to China's rival Taiwan as a country. China considers Taiwan to be one of its territories despite Taiwan being an independent nation. Thirsty for News reports, the Fast 9 movie opened strong enough in China, but the second weekend was an absolute bust. Many are contributing the slump to Cena's comments, also the reviews have been absolutely atrocious for the film. It's unknown whether that Cena bias played a part in those critical opinions. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the Vin Diesel John Cena action flick has totaled $185.3 million, that's slightly ahead of where franchise spin-off Hobbs and Shaw was sitting at a similar point in its China run, but far weaker than the preceding franchise mainstays Furious 7 and The Fate of Furious, which topped out at $390.9 million in 2015 and $392.8 million in 2017 respectively. F9 is scheduled for a 25th June release in the United States and with more American cinemas opening up, it's possible the film could do well here as people are eager to get out of their homes. Do you think Cena's comment had any effect on the film's performance in China? Let us know in the comments down below. But there you have it guys, the wildest, uh, we're not saying- That's the end of that man, Vince bro, you tripping man, it's time for you to get that company up. I feel like you should let Triple H run it. And I think Triple H should be able to bring it back. Because he, he does a good job with, with NXT from what I see, man. And I feel like Triple H would probably do, like, cross work with different companies. And that brings the ratings up for both shows. You know what I'm saying? But sorry, y'all, if this video was a little extra. It just really aggravated me, man. I just don't understand it. But... I guess I'm gonna see y'all in and the next loosely video. wrestling news you need to I'm see y'all in the next video, man. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. Until then, like I said, I'm out. Peace. Peace.